What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Let's roll the intro. Please subscribe, please, please. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm just gonna be giving you guys a story time. It's not really a story time, but I'm just gonna tell you guys what's really happened and how this has happened from the title to having so much friends around me to having very little amount of friends but before we get into it be sure to like subscribe and comment down below and tell me what you want to see next and turn your notification bells on because i will be doing some live streams i did do a live stream a couple of days ago so you come through on the live streams to see what we talk about i talk about all sorts i can yap on for days I will start live streaming on Twitch eventually. We're gonna trust the process first. Let's just talk about when I started secondary school back in year seven. So I left primary school in year six and obviously in primary school, pretty much everybody in primary school is in your friendship group. Like your friends are all those guys. But I went to a secondary school where none of my friends from primary school are going to. So I was pretty much by myself. I'm an introverted person. I'm not the type to be engaging in conversations like that. Starting in a school where I knew absolutely nobody, it was a big challenge for me making a lot of friends. I went to one school between year seven and year nine. That was the school that I started off at and you know, made a lot of new friends, met a few people here and there. Even some I'm still cool with to this day. But I'll get on to that in a bit. I moved schools in year 9 and year 11. I made a few friends there. That school I was in, it was very small compared to the other school I was at previously. But to cut a long story short, when the pandemic happened and everyone went into lockdown, it was bittersweet for me. I was leaving school, was a bit annoyed that it ended early, was a bit annoyed that I didn't get to have prom or all of those things. At the same time I was happy because I was at home, also I was away from people, so I was in my own space all the time, so I was loving it. Then fast forward to September 2020, after the pandemic eased down a bit, that's when I started college and I made more friends in college. I feel like college was probably my best experience. I think I had the most enjoyable time in college, even though I faced a few challenges within academic studies. I did enjoy college a lot compared to secondary school. As you guys know, I'm 20 years old now. I'm out of college. I'm working full time. Alongside that, I'm on YouTube. And I don't really have the time to be focused on friends. And I feel like what my main struggle was, was the fact that I felt like I couldn't do things without people. And I think that's what really stopped me from achieving what I wanted to achieve. Because I always thought I had to seek validation from another human being. When really and truly, I didn't need to do that because throughout this whole process since the pandemic, that was the main time I've really gotten closer to God. And for those that know, I am a Christian. Throughout that time, I just gained a closer relationship to God. Now that I'm older, I've started to just do things on my own and with the Lord leading me and not seeking validation from other people. I've achieved so much more. Within that process, I lost so much people. I wouldn't really say that I lost them, but it's like people just drifted away doing their thing and I did my thing. Because when you become closer to God, especially, it's like the Lord removes people out of your life for you. I never really had to go to anybody and say, do you know what, I can't be friends with you. I've never really blocked anybody because you hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to cut these people off before next year. I'm going to block this person, block that person. But that was never me. Like... Unless you did something that was completely overboard, I have no reason to block anybody, even to this day. Like, if there's somebody on my Snapchat, for example, that I just haven't spoken with in like over three years, but they're still there viewing my stuff, and I just haven't had a problem with them at all, there's no reason for me to block them. Like, yeah, I haven't spoken to them, but there's no reason for me to like remove them off my snap because there's, there's no point in that. I feel like that was the case with a lot of people that were my friends in the past throughout the educational years. If I go on Snapchat, I've got loads of people on there throughout my secondary school years and even other people that I've met through like mutuals and friends and that I've met up with. I do not have a problem with anybody. I have no reason to have a problem with anybody. So all these people that are just on my instagram and social media like i've got nothing against them but it's not a thing where i'll message them and be like yo do you want to go out? and i'm not on bad terms with anybody it's just that some people have decided to 
do what they want to do and a lot of things that some people wanted to do I'm just not on that and especially the life that I live now I'm just not on a lot of things that some people do and it's not a thing where because they are doing that it gives me a reason to cut them out or block them like no I just don't want to be a part of that so it may seem like I've taken myself away from people but to me it's more of a thing where I know what I want for my life I know what I want for the better I know that I want to grow closer with God when you make those decisions it either means people are going to come with you or they're not going to come with you and if they don't come with you it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't support it just made me realize that everybody's doing their own thing because if I look around my age group nowadays and people that I know some people are doing modeling working full time have their own businesses some people even have kids already like everybody's doing something in their life I'm very happy where I'm at I've got friends around me that go to church that are in the word of God I've got somebody by my side my partner it pushes me to get close to God we can do all sorts together I never feel like I have to shy away from anything we just have that bond and I've never had that in a relationship before. Although this video may seem like I've been talking about the most stuff and just waffling, the main thing I want you to take away and especially to you younger viewers, don't feel like you need to depend on your friends to do anything, especially if you're trying to chase something that you want for yourself. Always follow your own path because if you seek validation and always go to your friend and be like, Oh, do you think it's okay if I do this? What's your opinion on this? If you keep doing that, you're never ever going to get to where you want to be. If you keep taking comments from other people saying, Oh, I think you should do this. That was really bad. Maybe you should do that next. There's a difference between constructive criticism and people just putting in their own opinions. But if you keep listening to other people's opinions, you're never going to move. You're just going to be stuck you have to motivate yourself you have to give yourself that push and if you can't let go of people's opinions how are you supposed to get to the next level you can only get to the next level if you let god be in control there used to be times where i just sit at home be alone and sit there and just be upset because i saw certain people going out having fun going out to dinner this that and the third and i was just at home and i used to think like these guys never invite me anywhere and then now that I'm older, I remember I just wasn't on what they were on. I preferred being inside. I didn't really like going outside, to be fair. A lot of people that I know still swear, still say foul language. The people in my circle now, we're not on that. But all those things that I did in the past, in the world of those people now, they still do that and it's just simply not what I'm on. And it's not a thing where I've got a problem with people for doing that. It's some people will actually respect you and see the life that you're living and they won't do things like swear around you or drink around you it's enough waffling i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you were able to get something from this and i will be doing more story times here and there let me know what you guys want to see next and what you think of this video catch you guys in the next video stay safe and god bless you all peace